why you're thinking about detailing the wrong way and how you can think about it so you're more lucrative in your investments. So usually when you think of detailing, you think the best tools, the best chemicals, want the best things so I can do the best job. Because I, I actually thought that way when I started. You know, while those are gonna do good work, you actually need to think more about your return on investment, right? So if I buy like a thousand dollar tool, I have to pay off that tool. Otherwise, you know, that's just something that I spot and I'm not actually getting any money back on it. When you're starting a business, you want to think on how you can return the investment on the tools that you buy. Like if I buy a really nice tool, maybe it saves me a minute of time because it does a really good job versus if I buy like a crappy one, it'll break in two years, but it does a good enough job where, you know, the customers are happy. You don't need every single tool. You don't need every single piece of equipment. If no one's asking for you to steam clean their car, then why would you get a steamer? You are a service, so you're catering to the customer. But there's also the fact that, you know, you are the expert in what you're doing. Do you risk saying, I know you said you didn't want to steam clean your car, but I'm gonna do it anyways? I think you just do whatever the customer wants. They pay for it, right? That's what they're buying. And you can make it easier for your customer by having like certain packages or certain deals. Like for me, I just have an interior clean and then an interior exterior clean. I just keep it simple. Like I don't think most people are gonna know the exact things I'm doing uh, with the exact tools and all that. So just keep it generic. Like, hey, do you want something really nice or do you want something nice? Like instead of just about the tools, you also need to think about how are you actually gonna get customers? What matters to them? I have this shirt here. This is my business shirt, right? A customer is not gonna see this when they call me up to talk about my business, right? All they're gonna see, or they're gonna see nothing. They're only gonna hear my voice and see my website maybe, or some of my social media. So you wanna build an account where people are gonna have trust in you, especially if you're mobile detailing because you, you don't have a physical location that people can visit, right? So they really need to see that you take pride in what you do. You're willing to spend the money on the things that they get to see, right? Like I took the time to generate my own website and you know, it looks really professional and I think that it helps people believe in me more, right? And the fact that I'm on YouTube and I'm doing things on Instagram and Facebook and I have my friends there and all that, like that just helps to build trust between you and the customer. And while they might not see every single account or every single video you make, you know, it might help them to be like, oh, okay, you know, this person's consistent with what they do and I can see that they do good work. It's not necessarily all about the best tools and best chemicals, but also being able to actually get people to call you so you can make money. And when you start making good money, then maybe you can buy a better tool. Then maybe you can buy the best tool whatever you want. Unless you're okay with buying everything up front and being like, okay, well, I don't know if people are gonna like my services or I don't know if people are gonna call me. I would focus more on getting that outreach and getting people to come to you, right? Because you don't wanna be exhausted with always having to go out to people, right? To get like work. You want people to start coming to you so that you, know, you can start saying like, I'll do this for you or I won't do this, I don't wanna do this. Like you can say, like shake your head one way or the other until you get like, like that good foundation of customers, like you're going to be kind of high and dry. It's just important to manage those different aspects. You wanna do a good job with the right tools and chemicals, but it's not necessarily something that everyone has access to immediately. Focusing on the customers and putting what you have to the test. If I have only a rug brush, making sure that rug brush does a good job where I can make a customer happy and then ultimately turn that into another customer maybe. Maybe they'll recommend me to someone they know. A lot of your work is gonna come from word of mouth, especially if you don't have anything established online. I've had plenty of people recommend me to someone else and then they're happy and then they pass it along and then, you know, it's like a chain of happy people. We all have to start somewhere. This is part of the process of growing your business. It's not gonna be made in a day, but you certainly wanna launch off and have like a consistent business stream before you necessarily go and buy all the tools and chemicals that, you know, are the best. Some of these things I'm just buying for like 20 bucks and they do a great job. Like you can clean most of the car with just an APC. You can get the dash, you can get like leather seats. You just have to be careful of like dilution ratios because you don't wanna destroy any surfaces with too much cleaner. What really matters at the end of the day is the, des the results you're delivering, the fact that you actually have customers, and that's about it. It doesn't necessarily matter what tools and products you're using, so they don't care about that. I certainly don't. So I hope you guys learned a little something today and have a good day.